My name is Jerome Verrett. I'm from Los Angeles. I grew up here. Well, my first Jeopardy series actually was sending a letter when I was eight years old to the original show. But we'll go forward. So when I, I first got on, I took the test four times. It took a long time to get on. And I was brought on, actually it was my birthday. And I was ready to play. I had my grandparents in the audience. And I was an alternate. I didn't get on the whole day. And then they went and they were going to call me to come back. And then the next year, January, I got a call. I came in. And I was just ready to play at that point. The first time it was, you know, very exciting when you were an alternate. When I was the alternate, it turned out. The second time I was just ready to play. So I got out and there was a woman named Suzanne at the time. Suzanne Thurber was the contestant coordinator. And she put me in the very first game because I don't think she wanted any more calls to the office. And I played the first game and I couldn't get in for like the first eight questions. And I have people that were at the taping and they knew and they came to a party to watch. And even they were getting nervous because it took so long for me to get in on the buzzer. And I finally got in on something that nobody else buzzed in on. It turned out that I was so much concerned on the buzzer, I didn't even realize what the question was. So I had to quickly answer a question in like four seconds and I got it. And then I moved very quickly and it was wonderful. I know this game. Should have been Jeremiah Clark. Jeremiah Towers is chef. It was wrong about that. But it was the trumpet volunteering I got confused. So there, yeah, yay, just played it safe. After the show, my dad said, no, why didn't you go for it? Because I, I could have gone, it was within reach. But I didn't realize that if I'd only won four games, I still could have come to the Tournament of Champions. I wanted to make sure I won the five, so I didn't go for it then. So I didn't make Frank's money, so I should be really, really happy, but I know I could have made the other 6,000 and knocked Spangenberg off. And I remember thinking at the time, let Spangenberg go on Conan, I'm perfectly happy being who I am and not, not being recognized everywhere. That's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm.